What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a review on my Pioneer radio. This is the flagship radio you can get at Walmart. When I bought mine it was 300 but that was back in early 2022. Now they're about 350 It's the Pioneer DMH160BT. And the reason I'm making this video is I could not find a review on this radio. I thought there should be one. I wish there was one when I was buying my radio. So we got it in this 2006 H3 Hummer. As you can see, it's been sitting there about a week. I don't know if you can see in there or not, but the radio is in there. So let's chisel it out and get started. So as you can see, it's pretty iced over in Pennsylvania. So I got this radio in my Hummer. This Hummer has been sitting here for about a week. So this will be a good uh, radio and deep sweep, wake up and everything else. But before we get started, let me explain my relationship with the Pioneer. It is none, nada. They're not paying me anything to say anything about this. And this is just my opinion, some guy on the internet. Um, what makes me qualified to talk about radios? Well, I filled out a medical school, which makes me a doctor in New Jersey. So I feel pretty qualified. So let's get started. Okay, so there's the radio sitting there. This car's been sitting about a week. You can clearly see that it has not been touched today. And our battery voltage is important. It's a little low, it's 11.8. So we got the key here. We're gonna tap it on and see how long it takes for it to turn on. The fan's going, that ain't good for the audio. And we wait. It's about seven seconds. So it was about eh, seven, 10 seconds for the radio to turn on out of a deep sleep. But let's go ahead and we're gonna turn it off and we're gonna see how long it is not in a deep sleep. So already, radio's off, door's closed. You ready? And pretty instant. It does go into a deep sleep and it does take a little longer to turn back on. That's not really a con of this radio that doesn't bother me at all. I will show you the number one thing that bothers me about this radio as of right now. Also in full disclosure guys, I bought this radio 11 months ago, installed it in the Hummer. There's probably maybe 3000 miles of me driving with it. And I only have about two gripes with this radio. Okay, my number one gripe is, you see this is at zero right now? You can hear the radio station play music. If you go up 1%, that's one, which is pretty loud, in my opinion. Um, some more expensive radios definitely have a more low to them. So if you like that, this is not your radio. So this is like the lowest setting. And I have to talk pretty loud to talk over it. So I don't like that. But guys, with that being said, this radio is $300 and it has features that are pretty nice for $300 or $350. It's probably still worth that. In my opinion, this is the flagship one at Walmart right now. So with that being said, I don't know what you think of when you think of Walmart audio, but I think this is pretty decent. That's my another one gripe. My other gripe with this radio is if you throw this thing into reverse, the backup camera takes some time to flip on. Now that can be a lot of different things, but in my opinion, I think it's this radio and I would say 90 percent of the time it works but 10 percent of the time the camera doesn't come on at all and i've tried other cameras and stuff like that i think it's the radio but don't quote me on that it could not be because cameras are available there and there's like some other stuff that can get involved but overall this is a very nice radio you got apple play bluetooth sirius xm this model does not come with the antenna that you need to do it so you'd have to buy that that's a little more money but this radio does have all the features here and we'll get into some of that Okay, so we got the radio AM, FM. This is just going to be a basic overall. You got iPod, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, USB, phone, Bluetooth, radio. And then you got an auxiliary port, which I don't have wired up because iPhones don't have analog stuff. And that's all I use in here. And then you got screen monitoring, which you can play your phone image on the radio. Also, what I like about this radio, if you connect your iPhone through the USB, 
to the radio, it'll set the time and date for you off the phone, which is nice because he wants to go through and finish you with that, with daylight savings time and everything. That's kind of just a pain to do. So that's probably what I like about the radio. I told you what I don't like about the radio. Uh, but like I said, my disclosure of Pioneer, they're not paying any money or anything to say anything about them. I do like them, but talk is cheap. Gas is expensive. So you guys get out there and test it yourself for what you want to do. Hey, thanks for watching. Hold up. I want to put a note in there too about Apple CarPlay. It does not have wireless Apple CarPlay. Um, besides that, when I plugged my phone in here to use Apple CarPlay, it worked decent, I would say. It could be a little better, but it was good. So just no wireless Apple CarPlay. And the FM transmitter for the radio, I didn't think it was as good as my factory radio. It was a little not as good, and it seemed to get interference easier. So just that would put there in like the gray area because maybe it is just a Hummer or maybe that's just how it is across all the vehicles that you're going to put this radio into. But overall, I do like this radio. I would recommend buy it for the price. It is definitely worth it. There are some Sonys out there that are kind of competing with this thing. They don't really have as many features for the price. So this is full price. And the touchscreen on here is like one on a smartphone. It's not like the early like 2017 ones or whatever that were kind of felt outdated this feels modern crisp i do like all that with this radio so i would recommend to buy it for 300 dollars, but just some guy on the internet <laughs> all right guys till next time peace